What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Trick to Tool Tuesday. It's a series on my channel where every Tuesday I break down a trick and I tell you what's up with it. And this Tuesday, oh man, this is probably the most requested trick I have for this series and it's a kickless rewind. So A, kickless rewind, what is it? Now a kickless rewind should be a heel whip to start off with. The heel whip itself is going to be going around 75% of the origin of where the deck started, right? So if the deck's starting right here, your kickless rewind, your heel whip should come all the way around 50%, 75 to about right here, and that's when it's gonna stop. You're gonna do your motion and have it come all the way back to where it started. 75% because honestly, I sometimes do it, and when you're getting sloppy with a kickless rewind, sometimes people do them only about 50%, and it will only get out to maybe about right here, and then come back. It kind of looks sloppy, so I'm trying to teach you guys the correct way so your kicklesses look super good. Because a lot of people don't like kicklesses and how they look, I think they look cool and I like how the trick looks itself, but I want to make sure you guys are doing proper. That way they're going to look as cool as they can be. So yeah, again, if I'm doing a kickless rewind, I'm going to be starting off doing my heel whip, and I'm going to be pushing it all the way around 75% about right here. And once it's here, I'm going to use my arms to stop the deck and to bring it all the way back. Now this motion is going to kind of take a while to kind of get right. You're going to have to play around with it just sitting here and like understanding like, okay, uh, how do I stop it and bring it back? And it's going to be weird to do it first. Like you might even be using your hips or whatever. But the right way to do it is to get a good heel whip start off of it. Once the deck's going, you then want to get your arms and use them to stop the deck. You want to stop it and make it do the kickless. So I'm going to do a couple fast now. If I were to do some, heel whip, stop it. Heel whip, stop it, and then heel whip, stop it. Now that stopping point again is 75%. We're gonna have to figure out for your scooter how that stopping point is gonna kind of feel and how you're gonna have to feel it out and then be able to bring it back as a solid movement. Because every scooter is gonna feel different, whether it's bar height, your width, how long your deck is, your width of your deck, it's all gonna be different. But that doesn't mean that your scooter can't kickless. Anybody can kickless any scooter, it doesn't matter. Once you know how, you know how. But it is gonna probably feel easier to do on like a little scooter and you can sit there and fling it around rather than a bigger scooter. It's more of an effort to bring that whole kickless around. And for some people, they even do kickless rewinds starting off with a tail whip first because they might ride different or a little bit more unique than we do. But if you do do kicklesses with your tail whip first, it's going to be the same kind of feel thing, except you're of course going to be coming down and catching a heel side rather than catching it normally. Now kickless rewinds as a trick aren't too bad, but of course I did a lot of the basics first and then moved my way up to them because it is an intermediate trick. But I would definitely recommend trying to do kickless rewinds flat on a box, maybe up a bank or somewhere where you can get a good amount of speed, good amount of air time to kick out that heel up, bring it around, find your stopping point and bring it back down with enough air time so you can figure your stuff out and then hopefully land it. And I actually can do these flat. I'm gonna try to do one right now. I'm really sore, but let's see if we can do this. perfect I'm sorry I'm sore I just got back from a trip to Michigan but yeah they're a little bit difficult flat again I would definitely recommend go to your local resi go to your fly box go up a bank somewhere you could get a good amount of height and speed so you get a good jump so you could actually do the whole kickless get that thing around and land on it and yes your scooter might be harder to kickless than other people's dude stop man and yes your scooter might be a little bit more difficult to kickless than other people's but don't let that hold you back because again i got a 21 long deck i got it 5.5 wide i got pretty tall bars but again i could kickless rewind because i'm not going to let that hold me back i'm going to ride the scooter i want to ride because it's comfortable but all right kickless wrap up review you want to start off getting a good heel whip or tail whip if that's what you do get a good rotation of the whip once it comes around to 75 percent that's when you're going to use your arms to stop it bring it around the entire way get the amount of speed and air you need to get the time to do the entire motion and then keep practicing it along with the motion itself knowing when that stopping point is going to be and how to actually get the motion really good because of course sitting here and doing this is just half the battle knowing how to do it and then you got to go to the park at the air time to do it yourself so if you guys like that video drop a like on it, it really helps me in the channel out hopefully you learned how to kick what you want today it's a big requested video on this channel so i had to do it comment down below what you guys want me to do for next week's trick to total tuesdays because of course on this channel i come out with videos every tuesday telling you guys what's up with tricks and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because of course videos on the channel drop every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So yeah, don't miss out on a video. Turn on post notifications and until next time, hopefully you got the rewinds down. And until next time.